Hey everyone, it's your professional sarcastic man and seeker of attention, Oz Chris here, here with a review of New Challenges, the latest in the New Age of Heroes. Uh, this is definitely one I wanted to pick up because I picked up the original, the um, the Kirby New Challenge, uh, not New Challenges, the Kirby Challenges of the Unknown, and that was. I definitely recommend that. It's a fun, it's just a kind of fun, simple adventure comic. It's pretty, pretty much. I uh, didn't think I was going to like it, but I really did. I really enjoyed it. And then when I found out there was going to be a new challenges, I was like, yep, I'm going to pick it up. And it's by Snyder. I'm kind of, I know Snyder can be overhyped sometimes, but I particularly like a lot of his work. So I thought, why not? I'm going to pick it up. But funny thing is, so apparently... My LCS got a bad batch of these. Um, so bad they uh, removed it from their site of like what we have available. There was also none on the shelves, but anyone who ordered any, like pre-ordered any, they still got their copy. Uh, what I mean by bad batch, uh, see how there's a staple there? And there isn't on the other side. This It's... It has 50% less staples. <laughs> yes. DC, the DC Universe New Age of Heroes presents new challenges now with 50% less staples. <laughs> but my, but my LCS was uh, kind enough to just, they just said, we'll leave you this copy, you know, you pre-ordered it, you want it, you obviously want to read it. So we'll leave you this copy and then when we get the new batch next week or next next week or so <clears throat> you know the batch actually has 100% staples <laughs> uh we'll leave that we'll leave one aside for you to pick up uh free of charge i'm like yes you guys are great no wonder why i still still keep coming here <laughs> but anyway on to the review uh i always keep forgetting that they do these <laughs> kind of things the fold outs uh does this fold out as yeah it does? Hey, we got a bit of sideways, like a leg, crotch, half a body and an arm. I'm guessing that's from the unexpected and anyway. <laughs> uh I haven't been liking Brimstone. Like that sec it looked interesting, but that second issue was so goddamn boring. Go watch my review of it. <coughs> Wait, isn't this like... Wasn't this like the dinosaurs or something from like... Didn't New 52 have a series called like GI Combat or something? Anyway, we start off and... A group of random people are transported to... Colorado. To uh, the Challengers Mountain, which... Uh, which... Uh, was in the Dark Dark Knights medals. It acted as the base for the Dark Knights, for Barbatos and the Dark Knights. And we introduced to several characters. We're not really... We, we kind of have the backstory to one of them. Uh, she's a kind of a chemist or doctor. And... When all these weird tentacle monsters, straight out of a hentai, <laughs> at, uh, at, uh, attack a, a mother and her child, she instinctively goes to save it, but she gets attacked herself and then wakes up with everyone else. And apparently, apparently, my freaking birds can't shut up. There we go. Better now. <laughs> but... Apparently, they are all dead. Because the one thing that they share is that they remember dying. And the thing is, they are dead. As mysterious line fa red line face guy says here, you, you are dead. Man, you should have put, you are already dead. And then I could have done like a, Omae wa mo shinderu reference. And then, hopefully someone in the comments says, Nani. <laughs> Damn it, Snyder. <laughs> you had a chance. <laughs> but anyway, uh, 
mysterious red la- red line face guy explains to them that they are the latest recruits to the challenges of the unknown and they have it that the challenges are just random people brought together to do all, like various dangerous tasks it's a very a lineage um and they also show the original challenges of the unknown it's a good kind of easter egg as well and they're referred to as the um as uh, the most prolific team to wear the hourglass, like the hourglass is, this, uh, is a symbol, which they all also have tattooed on their arms as well. And it's just like, yeah, I hope, I hope you're better, as good or as bad as them. But And I do like they, they kind of take the concept of borrowed time. If you've read the Challenges of the Unknown, they always say like they um they run on borrowed time because they are going into dangerous almost suicidal missions so they don't ex- they always don't expect they will come out of it alive so they always say they're running on borrowed time so they've taken that they've taken that slogan they've taken that concept and put it literally so because they actually are dead they're being kept alive by like the tattoos on their arms of the the hourglass tattoos and when they go outside of the base they are on borrowed time they have a set time they need to complete a mission or else they will die like time will catch up to them their deaths will resume and they will die as kind of shown by one of them but I'm not gonna show it but the they get a new member. The rest of them all accept the task. And it involves a weird octopus lobster. <laughs> uh, but anyway. <clears throat> definitely interested. Hooked. I do like the whole idea of the borrowed time thing really interested me. It's just like there is now like stakes and drama into it. Like... There's always going to be the suspense. It's just like, oh no, we've got like one minute to live and it's going to take us like two minutes to do this thing. Like, what are we going to do? But definitely, I definitely recommend new challenges. I found it was interesting. I found it very interesting. You know, (coughs) sucker for Snyder's work. So (laughs) definitely had to pick it up. But anyway, that's it for this review. Uh, Leave a like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, Share my videos. And I'll see you all next time. Hopefully with less coughs. Not for these videos, but yeah, you know. See ya.